I'm Jessica Chastain, and uh, I appear in The Disappearance of Eleanor Rigby, Him, Her, and Them. And I'm James McAvoy. She's in it as well. Do you know those old, he <laughs> doesn't do it anymore because he's not on the E-Channel, but like the Howard Stern show? When yeah. like all the strippers and stuff would go on and it'd be like the world's dumbest stripper. I've never seen the whole century, so I don't know. It's terrible. It's the worst thing. I'm ashamed. I need a shower from this. But no, it's like, but it's the best place to find characters because there's these girls who go on the show now. Hi, my name is Riverman. And, and then they're like watch and I go, oh my god, I have to play a character like that someday. It's fascinating. <laughs> uh, Mr. T uh, has got a home movies uh, <laughs> sort of yes. people falling over and hurting themselves. TV show yes. back home. I think it might be called Mr. T's World's Biggest Fools, right? There's nothing more terrifying than an inflatable rating to wreak havoc on an innocent passerby. And uh, I love that. Yes! Well guilty about that. I'm so happy. People falling over is funny, especially children. <laughs> you know what? I think I took that not everything has to be so serious all the time. That, you know, especially even when in some difficult scenes, the lighter the approach is, the freer uh, the scene is. Hey, Rigby. There's only one heart in this body. Have mercy on me. <laughs> uh, fearlessness, because she's fearless. And that was sort of great to be around, actually, for somebody who, you know, my God, you know, the whole world's looking. I don't know that's the same with every actor, but. You know, you're such a, a well-known person now as well, I mean, but yet fearless and never feeling like you had that weight on you. And that's sort of incredible. Thanks, James. It was when he signed on to do the film. I was in London, I think it was, it was 2010 or 11. Yep. I don't remember. One of those years. One of those years that happened. And, um, and we met for breakfast. It was really odd because... Um, we knew we were going to be working together, but we had not met. I remember. I even remember what we ate. Yeah, you you had avocados and toast. Oh my God, you're insane. I was just telling James earlier, we're going to get into it now. Let's get into this. There was a woman who used to post on my Facebook who was so sounds, mean to me. sexual or something like that. We no, I know. She was so mean to me. I was like, why is this woman so mean to me? And I clicked on the thing and she's obsessed with you. Oh, really? <laughs> But I think she thinks she had a, she, that you guys are married. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So women are obsessed with James, which I totally get because, like, look at him, right? What a specimen. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to go for a five-foot ginger-bearded guy, <laughs> this is what it's at. Do you know what I mean? <laughs>